Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Fine. Okay. Ready. Okay, okay. Estamos ready. Yesenia. Diego. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, I'm Missy Wynn. I only see 14 students. Of course, I know that today is Friday. Ah, Yesenia se pone así rapidito cuando le digo, hoy es viernes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Teacher, today is Friday. Okay. okay. In the in the in the body in the body no work yesterday. 
<risa> Sabe que debe trabajar mañana todavía. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Es cierto, la, a quienes, quienes trabajamos el día sábado no nos alegra, eh, pero quienes terminan el día de hoy se ponen happy. Yes, Ana Beatriz es happy. Ana Beatriz es yes, happy. Teacher. Ah, ajá. Yes, teacher. <laughs> ok, Claudia too, I guess. Are you going to work tomorrow? No? No. Ah, you got uh, a day off. Yes, day okay. off. Okay, okay. What about you, Jonathan? Do you work on weekend? Yes, tomorrow free. Ah, it's free for you too? Yes. Uh-huh, okay. I see. Solo a Wendy le toca trabajar entonces. Sí, sí. Y a mí sí. Ah, Yesenia también. Yes. Ah, ok. I'm sorry for you. And for me too. I do work weekend. Zaira. I do work weekend. All weekend. You need, you, you, you must wear on weekend too? You? Only on Saturday? I'm not listening. Ah, si trabaja solo los sábados o también domingo? All weekend, teacher. Ok. Y todos, ninguno sí. de descanso. Oh. Ok. Extra hours? No. Nah. That means that you got more money, right? I rest uh, day, just, just day. Ah, just day. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I never rest. What about you, Carlos Escobar? How many, how, how many days in a week do you work? The week off. Oh, the week off. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. What about Laura, Mayra, Elizabeth, Juan Carlos, Jonathan, Jenny? Ah, Maria. Okay, at, at least we we got a job and we have the chance to hear some man, you know, you know. And a lot of people there still waiting in order to get a job. Lucky you and me too. Imagine uh people in different countries like Ukraine. They are facing different problems, you know. Maria Elena is there. Hello, Maria Elena. Hello, Peter. Good evening. Good evening. What about you? Do you work on weekend? I am not working with them. Oh, okay. Free. Free. 
please. <laughs> okay. Okay, let us see that the attempt now because I already got only a 15, but I'm going to do it now. I, I can still win. I can continue waiting because we need to cover a lot of stuff. And at the same time, tomorrow I'm going to update your grades. El día de mañana temprano eh, voy a actualizar sus notas. Espero de que uh, ya todos vayan al día. Ya tenemos que hacer el, el examen final y todo. ¿Verdad? Ya tenemos que haber hecho el examen final y todo. Mm. In fact, let me see the, 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 the platform in order to tell you. Déjenme revisar exactamente la plataforma para... Porque conforme a la, a la videoconferencia, así es la actividad que se va haciendo. Ok. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilia. Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Bautista. Bautista. It's not here. Bautista. Where are you? Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Welcome. Jose Jonathan. Thank you. Present, sir. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Eh, María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Aprendí a decir Veralice. Zaira. Present teacher. Santos Misael Cañas. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Wendy. Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Y Brian Javier Cárcamo Escobar. Present. Ahí está. Ok, here we go. We have a lot of things to do today. Tenemos mucho de qué platicar el día de hoy. But let me see what I got here. Let us start now. Microphones. 
Okay, today we are going to start a video conference number 23, say the measure manual conversation. And we have some question in order to start talking about this topic. Of course, that I'm I'm here just waiting. Your answer, the third one said good the lack of safety measure put the operation of a business in danger. And the second one, what could be some effects of? Okay, let's start. We got two questions. Would the lack of safety measures put the operation of a business in danger? What could be some effects of? Okay. Tom, what do you think about those two questions? Hello, hello. I want to share it again. Maybe you didn't see it. You got it there, you got it there. Okay, who wants to answer? You know what is a lack of safety, right? There, are you still there? Can you hear me? No, what's up? What's up? What is happening here? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, I think, yes, teacher. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, tell me, Claudia. I think yes, because without safety measures, we could, could be accidents and that cause also to the enterprise companies. It's a cause also. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Uh, having security measure in the company in plain in that their and um, bits that the hands of the workers uh to this the technical spe specialist occupation occupational risk prevention must identify the evaluation and risks and hazard associated activity. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Teacher, I think um, it's important security measures. Mm, and I remember um, I don't know if you know uh, El Café de Don Pedro. Yes. A few years. And the Tapa Soyapango. And I am remember the collapse the rock. Uh -huh, okay. And now the Nefis is no more. And when 
uh, problems with, of security. Um, can, can be, we could have broken, broken the vision. Uh -huh, okay, that means that the, when the accident happened, they stopped working. Yes. And they didn't move to another place or something like that. The problem maybe is, I don't know what to say in English. Como la credibilidad. Ah, okay. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. <laughs> okay, people don't trust in them. Yes. Credibility. Credibility. Okay, nice. Somebody else? Me teacher. I think the this uh, safe safety measure is very important. If you the price no consider is bad in, in price. Is a bad company? Yes. Is also no is um, business solid. Mm. Solid business. No, ah, yes. Okay. Is the effect affect to the rest of the of the people or the crew? Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. Yes, sir. Hello, I sir think, Diego. I think yes, because when an accident occurs, they they can incur um, fines or closures to to the lack of the measures. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, and what about the second question? What can you tell me about it? ¿Qué me pueden decir de la pregunta dos? Okay, you already mentioned it. Uh, what could be some effects of Somebody else want to say something about this? The companies um, can even be involved in legal trouble or legal problems, legal problems. Okay. What else? Uh, the, 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 the business uh, can be incurred in fines or closures. Okay. Another idea that maybe you have there? <clears throat> uh, maybe teacher, no sé si así se dice. Fines. Okay, I got it. Fines, uh, bad reputation in accident with the employees. Okay, employee accident too. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go to see the conversation that we're going to start today. 
Take a look of it, please. I don't know if you can see it very well. Gladys and Miguel had just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure manual. Now they're talking about a competitor and at the eye of this term. Gladys and Miguel, they, they, they have a conversation. You see it in the picture, they are talking about this. And Gladys said, I'm glad we are over with the risk assessment process on the safety measure manual. And Miguel said, I, I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our Competitors, they were said because an employee died when manipulated heavy machinery. Oh my goodness. That's such a bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah. Let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effects may be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally answer, so reliable, we are done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay. I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you read it and identify all the words that you consider that are difficult for you. And then we are going to read it again and you are going to have the chance to ask if you have any doubt or do you want to know something, okay? Try to read it again and identify all that you consider that is difficult. Okay, may I continue reading? Hello? Hello? No, teacher. No, finish, teacher. Okay, may I, may, I, may I continue reading? Yes, you can. What about the rest? Maybe they are still reading. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. No. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
Only a few, only a few of you. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest. Here we go again. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Only three. Only three. What about the rest? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes, four. teacher. Okay, five. Yes, teacher. Six. Okay, I'm going to read again. And Gladys and Miguel had just finished working on a risk assessment analysis in the creation of a safety measure manual. Now they are talking about a computer door and the in the eye of this term. I'm glad we are over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I could not be more recently. I watched some news about one of our computer door. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and a very bad publicity for that company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effects may be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss, totally. And so reliable, we are done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay. Teacher, después de donde Miguel, donde después que dije ya, no, no le comprendí bien cómo se pronuncia. Lo que sigue. Ok. Lo puede repetir. Please. Ok, it is in the uh, right here. No, en. En this one. Yes. Yeah, let alone that publicity, a chain of negative effects might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Ready? Ready. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to continue totally on our relief. We're done with the uh, safety measurable measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay. Something else? Algo más? No? Or see? Okay, make an screen chat. If you don't have the material, please. I don't, uh, yes, Scott, I would like to see if you are there because I don't see your faces. And suddenly I think that I'm alone. Cuando no me responden, pienso que estoy, que me desconecté, que estoy solo. And for that reason, I need to see your faces here. It's going to be better for me. Because when I ask you uh, something and you don't answer me, or even when I ask you if you have any question, if you don't ask questions, that means that everything is clear, or I don't know. Okay, alguna duda o pregunta sobre la conversación? 
No, teacher. Oh, sir. Okay, let us practice on the breakout room. Okay, okay, okay. We have, I, it's going to be nine. Okay, I'm going to create it and let's do it. How many minutes? ¿Cuántos minutos? Five minutes? Okay, five minutes. Cinco minutos. Open it. Here you go. Hola, hola. Elizabeth is there? No, teacher. No oh. responde. Okay. Do you want to be Gladys or Miguel? Okay, teacher. ¿Quiere ser Gladys o Miguel? Ah, oh, este. Gladys. Okay. Comience. I'm down. Wherever with the risk assessment, process and safety measure manual. Okay, yeah. I'm going to read it for you. Se lo voy a leer despacio. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. Okay, my turn. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. There, uh, they were sued because an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Continue. Oh my, oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity about the company. Yeah, let alone that, okay, yeah. Let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effects may be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved. We're relieved. Re relieved. Relieve. We're done with this. Relieved. 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 Okay, continue. Relieve. Relief, well done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, nice. Excelente. Lo que debe yes. hacer, lo que debe hacer es como 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 el tratar de ya ir leyendo más a uh, más, más, más seguido, más rápido para que se haya más se vea más fluido. Okay, ¿cómo se dice relief? Relief. 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 I'm uh -huh. sorry, relief. Y quiero ver otra. Bueno, cambiamos. Okay, okay. Bye. I'm glad we are over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I could agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were swell because of an employee die when manipulating her machinery. Machinery. A machinery. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh my, that's uh, such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. 
yeah, let alone, but publicity and chain of negative effect might be on the way, loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved we are done with the safety measures now. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay. Okay, salimos cabal porque ya se nos terminó el tiempo. Okay. Ahorita vamos a cerrar. Okay, here we go again. Let me see who wants to serve. Ana Beatriz and I, teacher. Ana Beatriz and Escobar. And you, okay. Okay. I am glad where over with the risk assessment process in the safety measure the manual. I couldn't agree more. Presently, I watched some news about of the of our competitors. They were shot because of the employees died when the manipulant heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, less alone bad publicity. A change of the negative effect might be on the their weight, loss of customer, loss of true in the organization, and eventuality financial loss. Totally, I sound relief. We are done with the safety measure in manual. No, we want to plan this implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher, Emilia, please. Okay, Galileo. Okay, I'm glad. It's... I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I could agree more. Recently, I watched some new about one of our com computers. They were sold because of employee. The A, we manipulating having machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, I shine off of neg negative effect, maybe on day why loss of consumer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as, as much as possible. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, right here, um, when you read right here, it said, might be on their way, might be on their way, might be on their way, okay? Okay. Okay, so Maria, who's next, who's next? Me, hey, teacher, Zaira. Okay. Jenny. 
I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process in the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sad because of an employee did when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news in very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way, loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. That's such a bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Okay, somebody else wants to read it? Diana, I need it. Guadalupe. Um, okay. You need it first. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and safety mission moment. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employer did play manipulation, heavy machinery. Oh my. That's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let's alone bad publicity. A China of negative effect might be on data way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organizations, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so related. We're done with the safety measure model. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read the last time. And then we are going to the next step. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Listen, I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such a bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effects might be on their way. Last customer, a lot of trust in their organization and eventually financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved. We're done with the safety measures manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay, any questions about from here? Teacher, no question. No okay, Diego Ernesto. What is the difference with heavy and heavy with G G or uh, heavy machinery? Okay, you are uh, talking about the word with uh, Y at the end, I guess. Yes, teacher. Y at the end. Yes, what is the difference between the, the Y at the end and E 
at the end. Hey, at the end. Well, um, in fact, may, uh, they, they mean uh, the same in meaning. In meaning, uh, it, it is also, uh, for example, when, when we have uh, with why heavy is algo uh, pesado, no? Talking about meaning in Spanish. Yes, right. But in this case, it is like uh, talking about the machinery that uh, need to make uh, a big effort in order to, to manipulate it. I don't know if you got my my my. Okay, uh, okay. I understand. And, and this is a this is a noun too. And in fact, you are right because uh, also these words, uh, the pronunciation is is not heavy, because here, uh, also I got confused a little bit when when I was reading because this is heal, heal machinery because the the next one. That, that you are saying is head, but in this case, heal, manipulating heal machinery. Heal machinery. Okay, okay thank, you. thank you for, for the question. Okay, so what are y'all? I'm worried. I'm worried because I need glasses. <laughs> At the end of this module, I'm going to to do full glasses. Okay, somebody else have, have another question? Ok, corrijamos entonces a, ahí la pronunciación de esta palabra, porque lo que dice el compañero es cierto. And right here, we're manipulating heat machinery. Heat machinery. Ok, thank you. Let's continue then, if you don't have any, another question. Okay, hold on. Let me see the book here. We got some questions. No, what we are going to do is just to uh, build in a vocabulary that we have on page number 38. And we are going to create uh, this vocabulary that I need to share with you. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Let me get bigger. Okay. Okay, building vocabulary, massive words and phrases that describe effects caused by hazardous risk to their uh, definitions. And we got six different words and phrases, and we are going to look for the meaning. The first one is contamination, casualties, property damage, loss of customer financial loss and business interruptions. Okay, try to identify the meaning. Okay, try to do it now, please.
I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I need to check out the attendance. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Um, Bautista. Bautista. No. Escobar. Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present. Eh, Jonathan. Present. Rodrigo. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Saira. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Ryan Javier. Hey, her teacher. Ahí está, ahí está Brian, too. Okay. Continue with the activity. Teacher, hello, sir. Can you tell me the number of the page or the exercise? Oh, okay, Oscar, it is number 38, and it's this one. I'm going to show you. We are talking about this one. You got it? Yes, I get it. Thank okay. you. Okay.
Like Finnish teacher. Okay. Just wait a little bit for the rest. Finish. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me show you. I'm going to do it in the book. Okay, right here, I'm ready. Just tell me, number one. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher, Diego. Diego. I think machines often break down is the three preferred Property damage. Number three. Yes, number three. Property damage for machines often break down. Okay, pro property damage. It's number three, you said, right? Okay, next. Me teacher. And the company lost money is uh, number five, financial loss. It is number five. Okay, next please. And customer switch to another provider business. Provider and, and business. And by come on, provider. Provider. Provider and business. Is number four loss of customers. Loss of customers, okay.
Okay, what about the next? Me teacher. Employee dies in accident operating a machine. Is uh, number two. Casualties. Casualties, casualties. It's number two, you say, right? Okay, what about the next one? The production stops. Number? Six. Number six. Business interruption, right? And the last one. The last one. The one that is missing. The one that is missing. One teacher <laughs> weights residues that are handled. Yeah, yeah, but I want to hear it. Okay, you have it there. Number one, contamination is uh, waste with residues that are handled improperly, scattered to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Casualties, number two, employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Number three, property damage, machine often break down. Number four, lost customer, customer switch to another provider or business. Number five, financial loss, the company loss, loss money. And number six, business interruptions. The production stop. Okay, now we have clear. And now we are going to read an article and then, then we are going to discuss it. The one uh, that we have here in this link, but I already have it. And we are going to read it and discuss it at the same time. Let me see if I can show you this. Okay, who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Identifying and managing business risks. Running a business comes with many types of risk. Some of those potential hazards can destroy a business while the other can cause serious damage that is costly and time consuming to repair. Despite the risks implicit in doing business, uh, CEOs and risk management officers can anticipate and prepare regardless of the size of their business. Okay. I need that you have a clear idea 
before we can go to the next slide. But at the moment that we are going to run a business, uh, come with a many type of risk. And sometimes uh, destroy a business. And we need to know that. You can read it twice if you want, and then you can tell me what do you think about that. From my point of view, I think the idea in this paragraph is correct because um, sometimes as, as human beings, we can control anything, right? Okay. Uh, sometimes an accident might happen what we can do is what what it says in the last lines we can be prepared or at least to anticipate how we can control or deal with the accident or, or the situation okay imagine uh, all the accident that happen in different uh markets in different areas and people lost everything and and then anybody is giving them a hand in order that they can start again with the business for that reason they need to know uh what they can do in order to to get something if they uh, lost their business It is about prevention, teacher. Yes. The important that this prevention for the uh, the the risks are big. big. Yes. Okay. Let us continue. I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay. Okay. We need to identify the risks. If and when a risk uh, becomes a reality, a well-prepared business can minimize the impact of earning, lost time, and product productivity and negative impact of customer. For a startup and established business, the ability to identify risk is a key part of a strategic business planning. Okay, we are going to stop here. And I need uh, somebody of you give me uh, your ideas about these lines. Try to read it, try to read it. Okay, maybe the, the, the main idea here, if uh, that it will prepare business, uh, suddenly as soon as uh, something happened, is able to minimize the impact, you know? And that means that they are going to control in, in, in different ways. 
they had the ability to identify the risk. Okay, I'm going to continue reading. Risks are identified through a number of ways. The strategies to identify the risk rely on comprehensively analysis, analyzing a company's specific business activity. Most organizations face preventable strategies, a strategic and external threats that can be managed through a sexton transfer, reduction, or eliminations. In another word, what uh, a company needs to do is just to identify the risk. And based on that, they are going to do something in order to be prepared. And at the moment that something can happen, they are going to give an answer immediately. Okay. May I continue? What about physical risk? Who, who wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay. Building risks are the most common type on the psychical risks, the fighting or explosion, to manage building risks and the risks to employees. It is important that organizations do the following. Make sure all employees know the exact, exact streets, address of the building to give to a nine eleven one operation in case of emergency. Make sure all employees know the location of the all exits. Installing firing alarms and smoke detectors. Installing an sprinkler system to provide additional protection to the typical plants. A sprinkle system, I'm sorry, a sprinkle, a sprinkler system. Sprinkle and system and provide additional protection to the physical plant. Okay, continue. Equipment, document sends of course personnel. Enforce and all employees that in the ever on emer emergence, their personal safety takes priority over everything. Also employees should be instruction to leave the building and abandons or worst associative documents, equipment, acts, and or products. Ah, okay, inform all employees that in the in the event of emergency, their personal safety take priority over everything else. Employees should be instructed to leave the building and abandon all work. Associated, associated documents, equipment, and or products, you know. How important is to follow this rule? What do you think about that? Do you take into account in your, in your workplace? Are you ready? Do you consider that uh, your company is ready uh, about all these items? Talking about physical risk? Yes, it's Yes. Okay. Somebody else wants to say something about this? What about in, in your in your job? Do you have a fire alarm and smoke detectors? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. And that means that if you if you have a smoke detector, at the same time you have a sprinkler system. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, okay. And so extinctors. Ah, also. Los extintores. I yes. don't know if 
extinct or something. Okay. Um, what else do we need to have in, into account? ¿Qué más necesitamos tener en cuenta? When we talk about uh, physical risk. Number of emergency. Okay, what else? Teacher, no sé si está aquí como, como un botiquín. Uh -huh. could, maybe it could be part of that. Medicine kit. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice uh, botiquín? Uh, it's, a, it's a medical kit. Ah, okay. Medic. Medical kits. The emergency, the emergency em exit and yeah. a plane of evacuating. Okay, what else? And also you can say uh, medicine cabinet. And also ha have you seen in different places like malls that they have uh, something like, uh, how can I tell you this? With glass, they have some big holes and there is an ax next to the to the box. I don't know if you have seen. No sé si se han fijado en los malls grandes. Eh, hay como unas mangueras muy grandotas eh, en una caja de vidrio. Y cerca de ahí se encuentra como una herramienta como si fuese un hacha para partir o romper algunas cosas. No sé si lo acá sucede eso, pero en otros lugares sí está eso. Now here. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I looked up. Ah, okay. No se han fijado. No son observadores de la hora. En el edificio donde estoy yo está la manguera de emergencia, pero no la, el hacha. Ah, okay. No está para romper. Okay, but maybe it has something uh, to pull. Tiene algo ahí que se, se manipula y se abre. Automáticamente, quizás. Yeah, right. Son más modernos. Okay. Yeah, but, but, but also, um, something that mentioned here is that uh, you need to know, you, you need to be sure that all employees know the location of all exit and also the location of the or the factory because suddenly could uh, happen something and you are going to call to 911 and they are going to ask you for the address and different kind of characteristics of the, of the place, you know? Or the easy way how to get there. You need to know about that. Somebody want to say something? It's a ¿Cómo se dice simulacro? Simulacro? It is, uh, let me see if I remember. Risk. Yes, it, 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 in risk, but let, let me see the word. Simulacro? Uh, mm. No. Drills. Uh, I'm not pretty sure about that. Drills. It's a word that uh, is, uh, yeah, could be a, a simulacrum, but uh, that there is another word, but I don't remember exactly now. Mob event, teacher. Excuse me? Mob event. Mm. But it's not the word I remember. I, I, I remember I used to to have it in my eye in, in, in my in the tip of my tongue I got it, but I, I don't remember exactly. Sé que lo tenido en la punta de la lengua, you know. 
because for, for example, uh, when we do something about fire, we call it fire drills. Es como, como un simulacro de incendio, fire drills. Um, in my office, um, a few years ago, I um, worked in Santiago de Maria. And okay. I, I, I guess that uh, all the kind of the kind of uh, situation, we just switch the word and by, we use drills. Yes, it is. I remember it, it is drills. Five drill uh, could be uh, like a uh, um, flu drills, simulacro de inundaciones. Yeah, different kind of, of, of earthquake drills. Yeah? Yeah. And okay. My... Solo simulacro de guerra como la que tienen allá, no, esa no, no la hemos practicado en las empresas. Yeah. Sino... <laughs> About, um, evacuation drills. Yeah, evacuation drills, simulacro de evacuación, yes. Okay, let us see what else we have in the next one slide. Okay, what about business risks? Ah, and I remember uh, Claudia talk about hazardous material risks. I remember. You don't remember, but I remember, Claudia. It was hazardous substance. Ah, okay. But it, it, it is the same, like hazardous oh. material, because we are talking about acid, gas, and toxic fumes, toxic dust, of and, and poisonous liquids or waste. Yes, yeah, almost the same. When we talk about hazardous material waste, it's present Present where spill or accident are possible, you know, that uh, that happen. The risk from hazardous material can include acid, gas, and toxic fume, toxic dust, or filling, and poisonous liquid or, or waste. There are some companies that are uh, kind of danger, you know, and people need to be protected using masks and different kinds of uh, gobble. And the risk is, is, is high, you know, in order to wear there. Okay, what else do we have? Okay. Um, let me see this. Fire department and hazardous material units are prepared to handle this type of disaster. People who work with this material, whoever should be properly uh, equipped and trained to handle them safely. Organizations should create a plan to handle the immediate effects of these risks. Government agencies and local fire department provide information to prevent these uh, accidents, such as agencies can also provide advice on how to control them and minimize their damage if they occur. Okay. In fact, this, uh, this article is too long in order to read it uh, from the beginning till the end, you know. But in the key takeaways, we have some race had the potential to destroy business or at least cause serious damage that can be costly to repair. Like the example that uh, Maria Elena gave us about the uh, dispensa de Don Pedro, I guess she said. Is that right, Maria Elena? El café de Don Pedro. El café de Don Pedro. Okay. 
was difficult to, to repeat it again, right? Really, yes. really? Yes. Okay, and also organizations should identify with risk post or threat to their operation. Potential threats include location hazards such as fire and store damage, alcohol drug abuse among personnel, technology risks such as power outage, and a strategic risk such as uh, investment and in research and development. A risk management consultant can recommend a strategy including a staff training, safety check, equipment and space maintenance and necessary injury policies, you know. This is very, very serious to work in, in, in something like this. Okay, let us do something now. I'm going to stop sharing. Remember that our topic for today, uh, who, who, who remember it? Quien lo recuerda? We are talking about safety measures manual. And I uh, mean that uh, every company need to have one according to the law of this country and not only just about this country because in, in another places like uh, in another uh, like United States and maybe Canada and, and all those uh, countries, uh, I have seen that they have some equipment. And that means that they are prepared in order that something happen. Okay. Let us go back to the material. And we are going to work In exercise number four, I'm going to show you. I got it here. And we are going to work on exercise number four. Building vocabulary. And you are going to run the impact or risk and hazard at the word play from the least serious, that is going to be number six, to the most serious, that is going to be number one, and you are going to discuss your rant with the pattern. And we already talked about this uh, term. So um, I guess it's going to be better if you work in, in pairs. Or it's up to you if you want to do it uh, by yourself and then, then we can uh, work in pairs in order that you can discuss the reason why you choose number one and number six. It's up to you. Lo que vamos a hacer solo es clasificar cuál es el más serio. El menos y el más serio de los de los issues que, that we have here. And just tell me. And Más share. termine la clase, te voy a ayudar. Ahorita no puedo. Microphone, Carlos. Okay, start working on this. Okay, run the impact of race and hazard at the workplace from the least serious and the most serious. And then we are going to discuss your run with the pattern. Try to do it now, please. You know, it is on pay. Uh, let me see the number of the page here. It is uh, 39 is, is the number of the page. Try to do it, please. Teacher. Hello? Uh... The rank of impact is from the employee or the, the para la empresa. They are talking about the, the enterprise. Okay. 
si estamos hablando para la empresa, porque um, ella es la que va a perder clientes, eh, sus finanzas se van a ir hacia abajo, la gente va a comenzar a perder la confianza de la organización, eh, van a haber bajas en qué, en el personal. Ok, let us talk about that. May I stop chatting? No problem if I stop chatting. No problem. No problem. Okay.
Okay, uh, let me know if you already finished. If you have it, that means that you are ready to discover with somebody else, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let us work in Kepo and discuss it. And you are going to, to tell the reason why you decide which one is the number one, number two, number three, number four, and five and six. We got 19, let me see. Okay, you are going to have one minute to talk about that. No sabía qué iba a hacer, teacher. Hola. No sabía qué hacer. Okay. Um, Creo que el compañero está de oyente también. Sí. Eh, lo que iban a hacer era clasificar desde el cuál es la número uno hasta llegar al número seis de eh, las situaciones que presentamos en esa página. En la instrucción lo que dice es Rand the Impact, como quien dice, eh, categorice el impacto de riesgo en los lugares desde el menos serio hasta el más serio. Clasificar cuál es el uno, será financial loss o será loss of stress in the organization o será loss of customer, o business interruption, o property damage, o, o casualties. ¿Cuál, cuál será el, el más importante de esos y el menos serio? El business interruption es interrupción de negocio. Sí, es como que de repente se deje de hacer el negocio por, por algún accidente o algo. Ah, ok. Sí, bueno, Jonathan no lo veo. Sí, ahí dice que está de oyente ahí. Sí, pero... Eh, él, él, él debe estar activo ahí. Este. Ok. Ok. Ok, entonces es, eso, bueno, una, es hacer una clasificación. Clasificación del, del más peligroso al menos peligroso. Al, al, me, al menos peligroso, correcto. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Ya lo, lo empiezo a hacer. Ok.
business interruption. Business interruption. Mm -hmm. Number three. Yes. Luego sería. Financial loss or uh, property damage. Yes. Bueno, según lo interpreto. Así sería. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Can, I, can I speak? Can I speak? Puedo hablar? Puedo hablar? Sí. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, the run that you are doing is not necessary. It has to be the same. Eh, la categorización que están haciendo no necesariamente va a coincidir con lo que tenga cada uno. Okay. Eso, eso depende de la perspectiva que usted tenga o del análisis que hace sobre los riesgos de la empresa. Ah, no como diferente entre los grupos, entonces. ¿no? Eh, sí, porque, por ejemplo, usted puede pensar o decir de que el número uno sea que eh, una interrupción, por ejemplo, en el negocio. Ah, ah, Sí, que para usted puede ser eso la prioridad, pero para uh -huh. Ana Lilian puede decir que ella eh, puede decir que es otra cosa, que puede ser el daño en, en el equipo, que sea pero, lo más. Ajá, en mi caso, el número uno sería loss of truth in the organization. Ok, eso es lo que quiero que discutan, la razón. Okay. Why do you think that? ¿Por qué usted piensa que eso? para generar eh, nuevo vocabulario y, 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 y ver hasta dónde hemos agarrado eh, lo que hemos estado hablando. Okay. No, no es que vamos a buscar como que trae un orden lógico y que, y que nos va a coincidir. No, 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 no necesariamente. Eso depende del punto de vista del gerente. Él puede ver y decir, no, los riesgos son estos. Pero a alguien más, los supervisores le pueden decir, no, eso no es el riesgo, los riesgos son estos. No sé si me comprenden. Sí, de sí, hecho, sí, antes sí, sí hemos estado discutiendo eso porque uh -huh. yo ah, decía okay. que el number one eh, era la que yo mencioné, pero el compañero me decía que, que no, que para no, él pero, es pero usted, usted tiene que defender su postura con ideas. <risa> la defendí y por eso estuvo ah. de acuerdo conmigo. <risa> <risa> Lo convenció. <risa> yes, yes. Ah, ok. Okay, time is over. I'm gonna okay. leave the run. Okay, it was a pleasure to hear you. microphone okay tell me how was your discussion with your partner tell me tell me dígame cómo, cómo estuvo la discusión con su compañero lo logró convencer de que el número uno no era el que tenía what happened tell me your own words no, teacher. Difficult. Okay, Yesenia, tell me. What's happened? Or Escobar, or... I don't know who wants to tell me something. Brian and I, um, I consider a different opinion, but... Uh, uh, estamos de acuerdo. <laughs> that means that you, you are agree? Uh -huh, you, they or mean you are agree? Or disagree? Uh, no, I agree. Agree. In the most serious is business interruption. Ah. Why? Could you tell me your reason? But the, is, is the bad interruption is totally uh, stop the operation. Okay, the business interruption, right? Yes. Okay. It, it, 
either left uh, or left uh, serious is damage the no property damage. Ah, the property damage. Do you consider yes. it that is serious? Okay. Okay. And the reason? The reason why you see that it is the, the less? The property damage is, it should be... Should be replaced by a new one. The, 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 ah, is... No, is very important in, in, in something case. In some cases? Yes. Okay, what do you think, Claudia? In your case, what can you tell us? I go there most serious, the loss of trust in the organization. Ah, that is, that, is, that, that is the most serious for you, right? Yes, because it's difficult to recuperar. No, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, to recover. Uh, the recover. Okay. Okay. Well, what about you, Jenny? What do you What do you think about Claudia said? He's saying, Jenny, is today Hi, hi, teacher. Tell us what are you agree or disagree with Claudia? What What the fear for Claudia? The most important. Loss of trust in the organization. Mm. I, well, my my group, uh, think that the more important is ca casual, for is the the person, is the employee in in, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, el efecto. Okay. The, the, the effect, effect the, is the, the the result. The result is. A loss of truth in the organization and financial loss in, in the other. Okay. Okay, para recuerden en español, eh, cuando los envié en, lo, en los equipos, no era precisamente porque iban a decidir cuál era, no, iban a discutir por qué uno tenía la prioridad en X y por qué el otro. Sí. Sí, teacher, con Estábamos Jenny, de acuerdo. Teacher. Habíamos escogido no, 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 exactamente no, no, no. lo mismo. <ríe> Estamos de acuerdo. Oye, Diego, tell me. Sí, teacher, lo que pasa es que con Jenny habíamos escogido exactamente lo mismo y con Wendy. Coincidencias. Entonces, coincidencias, that's right. Ah, de hecho, okay. solo estábamos eh, indecisos en dos, que son los loss of tools in the organization and loss of customers. Ah, Pero okay. lo demás está evidente. Uh -huh. What about you, Misael? What, what do you think about what they said? Are you agree or disagree with them? I was talking with Yesenia and she Did convinced me. <laughs> uh -huh. We were in a disagree point, but she convinced me to change the last one, the number six. Ah. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I decided, let me see, as number six, business interruption, but uh, while we were talking, we moved to financial loss or business interrupt in that one. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Hello, somebody want to say something? We are close to finish. Yeah. In a brief way, in a brief way. Um, with Claudia, um, disagree. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, we discuss um, the ranking depends um, uh, where is the point employees is well, if for an employee or employers is other one. Okay. Do is a manager or is you um operario? The, the point of view. Labor, uh, labor. Of view. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I, I was talking with uh, Rodrigo. I guess. Where is Rodrigo? Rodrigo, Rodrigo is there. I said Rodrigo. Where is it? Where is Rodrigo? He's there. He's there. Jose Rodrigo. We were talking with uh, Rodrigo and yes, and Lillian, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I and I yes. and I told them the same that all depend on the point of view or the priorities yes. that, that you have, like a CEO. Yes. That all depend on that. Depende de, de, de uh, los ojos que lo miren, ¿sí? Van a ser los resultados. Yes. En esto no hay como un estándar de decir este es el primero, este es el segundo. No, eso va a depender de muchas, uh, muchos aspectos. Comenzando tal vez en la ubicación donde se encuentre la empresa, qué tipo de empresa es, eh, qué tipo de maquinaria usan, qué tanto personal hay. Eh, cuál es el riesgo de all the material, the raw material that they have, and, and everything, you know, has to be with that. Okay, but time is over. I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to ask you something. I don't know if, uh, I, of course, I know that you are pretty busy in, in your job, but the next activity, if you, if some of you got or had the chance to um, surf the internet, try to do something like that. Um, go to online if you got time, of course. And in order that we can uh, get uh, more time for tomorrow, bro, uh, bros uh, for a national or international cases, business organization affected by a risk or a hazard that we are not control effectively. Just some example, that does not mean that you are not going to look for a big or huge information score. And try to have it because we are going to use it tomorrow. Yeah, find out the hazard risk, the cause, the business to get in an uncontrollable situation. And also list the business consequences caused by the hazard risk that went beyond control. And then we are going, you are going to prepare uh, one slide at least or two to share it and, and see it in the way that you are going to present. Is that possible for you or not? Just tell me. Okay, it's possible. Okay, thank you. I know that you are able to do it. See, you say que si, me dijeron que si. Antes de que me den una respuesta, porque me van a decir, okay. But don't worry. Fue una pregunta retórica. Yes, así como lo oímos. Veamos la asistencia. A ah, los invito a que terminemos de, de hacer las actividades en la plataforma. Uh, we are supposed to finish this model. Um, for the reason I need to have uh, all the your grades in the chart. Necesito tener sus notas ya en los cuadros para que todo les salga muy bien. Hola. Tell me. I have a question. Okay, tell me, the sir. Correct pronunciation is module or module? Oh, all depends. Because, uh, well, in my case, I don't know if uh, if you notice, but I have a, a, a sometimes comes a kind of problem because uh, I also working in a in a, an academy from Europe, and I had to use uh, the British the British pronunciation, you know? And as you can see, sometimes there are, or there is a, a slight different of, of the way how we pronounce it. But uh, at the end, maybe even inside of the United States, I have heard sometimes different pronunciations because um, some people from Los Angeles uh, they, they, they pronounce uh, in, in a different way from Washington. But at the same time, what we need to do is just try to look for an in neutral accents, you know? You know what I mean when I say neutral accents? Hola. El inglés de Inglaterra. No, lo que digo es que al final, 
como que nos mantenemos nosotros como latinoamericanos como con un acento neutral, que no nos definimos ni con uno ni con otro. Yeah. At least that I spent, when I, when I used to, to live there, uh, when I have more than five years uh, been there, of course, I was uh, speaking in, in the same way, even when I was working with uh, uh, colored people, it's another issue because suddenly you start speaking the way that they speak. But when I moved to working with, uh, with white people, it's, it's totally different because uh, also the structure that they use are a kind different, you know. But uh, as I told you, we need to look for a neutral, uh, neutral accents. And and you can find the. Uh, let me show you something here before we go. I'm sorry to take some time, but I would like to show you. I don't know if you remember. No sé si se han fijado algo. Cuando les uh, les comparto. Cuando les comparto las pronunciaciones de algunas palabras, algunas veces van dos. No sé si han notado eso. Bien. La primera, eh, y no les dije porque me imaginé que ya algunos tenían idea de, de, de eso. Que la primera es americana y la segunda es británica, que es, la más, ah, es lo que más se usa en los diccionarios. Sin embargo, si hablamos incluso de, de, de las estructuras que usa la gente en, en cómo se llama en Australia, ya sería como, como, como diferente. Y sin embargo, eh, son eh, siempre estructuras de, 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 del, mismo, del mismo idioma, ¿no? I'm going to show you this before we leave. Antes de que nos vayamos, solo les muestro lo siguiente rapidito. Es como la palabra, uh, así como se escribe literalmente. Eh, focus. I have heard different ways how to pronounce it. And at the same time, at the end, I say focus. And I hear somebody say focus, focus, something like that. And, and I was wondering that, and, uh, and, and suddenly I, I went to, to see the dictionary and I asked for that. Okay, let me show you here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? No, oh, okay, hold on a second, I need to shut it. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on a little bit. It's gonna be here. Where I got it? I got it here. Okay. Okay, I got it here. Can you see it now? Yes, yes. What is the difference that you can uh, get it from that? Hello? Can you notice the difference or not? This one is the way that uh, the one that asked me the question I got the pronunciation, but at the same time we got this one. I don't, I don't know if you see it. I don't know to, how, how, module, how, to, how to get bigger in, this. Let me get bigger. Module. Yes. Okay. Take a look at there. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. But in this case, we are close to the United States. We can say that way. Yeah. Module, if you want to say that way. Okay. Okay. Right now, uh, in fact, uh, nowadays uh, we need to, to know maybe both uh, accents on time because suddenly people from different areas in this country are appearing and we need to know how to deal with them. For that reason, I thought we need to get a, a neutral accents. Okay, but let me check out the... 
de attendance. Y como ya no tengo a nadie que, que quiera atender el uno a uno, entonces por eso nos tocó. Ok, Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Bautista. Bautista. Bautista is not here, ok. Escobar. Present. Eh, Hernández. Present. Francisca. Galileo. Present. Eh, Jonathan. Present. Rodrigo. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Eh, Laura. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. Eh, Elena. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Zaira. Present teacher. Eh, Misael. Present teacher. Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Right. Present. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we are ready to go now. Thank you very much. Uh, have you heard the word uh, behind? ¿Han oído esa palabra? And, and what about behind? No? Never. Detrás? Yeah, but, but Detrás? Some, some people, I heard it in, in, in the United States. Some, some of them, they say behind, and then they say behind. And I say, my goodness, which one is the right one? And both Americans, you know? Okay, the next time I'm going to show you something better that you can see different uh, ways of pronunciation sometimes, a variation, we call it. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you uh, on Monday. Remember, we are so close to finish this module. Ya estamos próximos a salir a terminarlo. Y eh, espero de que sí les haya funcionado y les haya servido mucho, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. 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 Good